Il-wirja to be defined li hija parti mill-proġett Rima tistħarreġ kif il-lingwaġġ li nużaw dwar il-migrazzjoni jixħet ukoll dawl fuq nanfusna u fuq ħattieħor. It-tim ta' Malta rtiet kixxef ftit dwar din il-wirja sabiex jara x definizzjonijiet tippreżentalna dwar nanfusna. I am uh, one of the person that uh, created Rima a few years ago in 2014 and uh, Rima um, is a project that tries to explore uh, issues like migration, exile, displacement uh, through a different perspective than, than usual, uh, an artistic one, a subjective one and even a collaborative one. I think that first, as a, the son, as a son of, a, of an immigrant, I'm a French Moroccan. My father is a Mar Moroccan uh, man who came to France. I wanted to make a special research crossing the, the son of, of a migrant who coming to the country of his father, meeting uh, a sub-Saharan who wants to leave the same country. So this story happened in Morocco. And uh, as an artist and as a filmmaker or a photographer uh, or a storyteller, I wanted to give the, the power of representation to the migrants. Meta Jade Avicinata, my curatrice, is in con part of the Lexa Bishin, and this day, I'm thinking the input here is to conduct the design, the setup, the exhibition, which back the concept curatorial, which is applied to the wall space, to the down gallery, to the space creative. I'm if I'm not and in the exhibition particular, it is interesting to see the setup and display in the show and artistic. I like to say that it a site specific installation, it is a part of the exhibition, and it is a number of shows that are artistic and barrenic, which are local, and it is a part of the exhibition. Um, do a spazio immersive, li jat jenek ta' esperienza isso all-artistiku um, fa' atmosfera particolari. What we want to communicate is that uh, what we think about exile or migration or displacement is not something fixed once for all. It's the result, of course, of a historical process, it's the result of a combination of uh, different factors like uh, our imaginary discourses, uh, which are institutional uh, and uh, even coming from, um, from our imagination. But these uh, discourses, these banalities, <laughs> most of the time, can be changed, can be challenged and even uh, deconstructed in order to find a more apt uh, imaginary about uh, migration, about uh, about exile. And as a black bird's feed, I can at the of a managing just parts you the and you see my chair to system or what is to do to any artistica and allora much day I'm going to set a med that the treat كيف تسات كنترول لاتشر تو أفريق تشر تو داول فيت تستا توزا في ما تستاش توزا وبرسلي أنا الإكسبيشن تان أنت تتكلم وكل فوق فوق الميجراتيون فوق أتش سبيلتا يا ولا أنا شتى أنا نهال أودك لفت وكل في في السات بتاعنا. We understand that in this research there are some captains which prepare the the crossing and they are telling about the 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 story the situation. About uh, how they have to give money to the military, I say it because it's, it's the reality now. And uh, how do the military, military will open the door, like they say, uh, if you if you pay them? So it is a political project of a migrant who wants to um, uh, make a denunciation of uh, of what what are their situations. And as an artist, I have to carry this uh, those objects and those films and to make a the kind of transmissions. We try to set uh, this, uh, to show what is objectivized when it comes to migration and migrant, 
and little by little the raise of the subject that starts to speak for uh, herself or uh, himself first in a more intimate way and then uh, progressively in a more and more public way in a, um, because this imaginary that we have about migration can be even changed by resisting with a, with a strong act of resistance uh, which is, uh, can be a collective one against what has been imagined about migration and exile for a long time.